It's a kit you've all been waiting for. Welcome to DevKit Weekly, where this week we'll be reviewing and raffling the Jetson AGX Orin Developer Kit from NVIDIA. Now this hefty box might look familiar. That's because it's the same form factor and a, even a similar enclosure as seen in NVIDIA's Jetson AGX Xavier Developer Kit that re we reviewed a while back here on DevKit Weekly. But it's not quite the same. The Jetson AGX Orin is yet another supercomputer class kit from NVIDIA that delivers 275 tops of performance, which is eight times more than its predecessor, the Jetson AGX Xavier. That level of processing capability is possible because of the NVIDIA Ampere GPU architecture, which is inside the Orin SOC, which includes 2,048 NVIDIA CUDA cores, alongside 64 Tensor cores, two NVIDIA Deep Learning accelerators, and a PVA 2.0 Vision accelerator. If you hadn't guessed it from that, the AGX Orin is a vision and AI workload crunching monster designed to demolish tasks ranging from video streaming to advanced autonomous robotics. And all of that's before we even count the 12 core Cortex A78 and video encode and decode blocks that are capable of processing up to 4K60 and 8K30 resolutions, respectively. Of course, data doesn't flow straight into a GPU or many other processing elements for that matter at all. But it might as well in this case, thanks to the 32 gigabytes of next generation 256-bit LPDDR5 memory that supports data transfers of 204.8 gigabytes per second on board. This is augmented by an additional 64 gigabytes of EMMC 5.1 storage with read speeds that top out at 250 megabytes per second. And for good measure, there's also a micro SD card slot that's here next to these push buttons that supports UHS-1 cards up to SDR-104 mode. But what's plowing through all that image-centric data if you don't have a way to look at it if you want to? On the display front, the Jetson AGX Orin features an 8K60 multi-mode DisplayPort 1.4a interface and HDMI 2.1 port. Either of two USB-C ports can also be used as DisplayPort interfaces or for data connectivity. Those are joined by four USB 2.0 ports and one USB micro B port. And you can find those around the horn. In the broader networking sense, a PCIe Time16 slot that's hidden under this little trap door here, whoop, has half its lanes allocated to PCIe Gen 4. That's eight for those of you who are counting. And if you need an enterprise class connection, four by 10 gigabit ethernet will serve you well. We've already gone through a lot but despite that feature flex, the NVIDIA Jensen AGX Orin still has a configurable TDP of just 15 to 60 watts. And even if it gets a little toasty at those low power figures, a built-in heat sink, which is underneath the fan that's here, makes sure that the device can operate comfortably between zero degrees C and 35 Celsius. Of course, for that to happen, the Orin kit will have to be powered on, which you'd accomplish by plugging in the power cord, which is included, of course, to this DC power jack, which accepts 9 to 20 volt inputs. If you thought the hardware shined, just sit back while we jump into the software. This Jetson AGX Orin kit is powered by NVIDIA's Jetpack 5.0 SDK, a software kit optimized for end-to-end -end AI pipeline acceleration. This updated version of Jetpack software includes a Linux for Tegra board support package, which is based on version 5.1 of the Linux kernel and a reference file system from Ubuntu 20.04. As you dive deeper into the Jetpack SDK, you keep encountering goodies that make your job of developing kick-ass AI and vision-based applications even easier. These, of course, start with version 11.4 of NVIDIA's CUDA toolkit, a parallel computing framework with libraries, APIs, a compiler, debug, and optimization tools, as well as a runtime, to help you make that Ampere GPO and all its thousands of cores go. That's flanked by the CUDA Deep Neural Network, or CUDNN library, of GPU accelerated primitives for, well, DNNs, as well as one of the world's most popular machine learning inference development frameworks, TensorRT. The OpenCV, OpenGL, and Vulkan frameworks are also supported. 
Other items of note in the Jetpack SDK include the Jetson Multimedia API package, which offers a suite of Quick Connect APIs for camera sensors and the NVIDIA Vision Programming Interface Library, which is full of CV and image processing algorithms that can be used by the PVA Vision Accelerator we mentioned earlier. Once you get acquainted with all the software in the Jetpack SDK, you'll want to be sure to head on over to developer.nvidia.com forward slash embedded forward slash community to check out a bunch of cool demos that you can use to evaluate the AGX Orin and get started. And if you're satisfied with the results, which I'm not exactly sure why you wouldn't be, be sure to check out Jetson AGX Orin modules, which will be available in different form factor, memory, and performance configurations starting next month and at various points throughout the rest of the year. You can expect to pay anywhere between $399 and $1,599 for those modules in quantity one. Or if you want to get your hands on an AGX or in developer kit like this one, expect to shell out $1,999. Of course, the world is playing a psych on you right now because they're on back order pretty much everywhere. So you'll actually probably end up paying double that on the secondary market if you don't believe me, just go check out eBay right now. But luckily, your friends here at Embedded Computing Design still have one shot for you to get your hands on one. And the best part is, is that it'll cost you zero, zilch, and yet not a nothing. You can get one for absolutely free if you win this week's raffle. All it takes to enter is filling out the form that's linked to on screen and in the description below. Well, that about wraps up this edition of DevKit Weekly. And I have to say that I'm pretty impressed if you've been with us for a while, you'll remember that the first ever DevKit Weekly featured an NVIDIA Jetson AGX Xavier development kit, and the company just keeps pushing the envelope with way more performance at a similar price point and a similar power consumption. And you know what? That's a win for you, for me, and for industry in general, as we keep trying to push the envelope with AI. Best of luck in the raffle, and we'll see you next week on DevKit Weekly.